We're now going to talk about bond redemption. What happens when they mature? How do I, you know, when I get, when I get to the end of their life, they're called mature, maturity value. Um, so bottom line is this, we can actually redeem them before they actually mature, but we have to be careful. We will do this sometimes if market rate, uh, decline, it drops below contract rate. Sometimes instead of actually redeeming them, that means I'm going to give you back the money. I might issue you new bonds at a lower interest rate. A callable bond, and again, I don't do terminology, so don't worry about this. A callable bond can be redeemed by, by any company at any time. So if the bond is considered a callable, I can sell it to you today and next month call it back and buy it back from you. So it doesn't make a difference about that. Here's what's the most important part of this. What is the carrying value on my book at the time I redeem the bond? The carrying value, just to reiterate, is the bond's payable account minus anything in the discount on bonds payable or the bond payable plus anything in the premium on bonds payable. But here's what I have to know. So you remember, the carrying value is what is it worth on my book? If I call it back, so this is important right here, guys, real important. I'm gonna either gonna have a gain or loss based upon what happens. I have a gain if I, if I pay more for it. I'm sorry, let me say this again. I'll have a gain if I pay less for it than what my carrying amount is. So if it's on my books at $1,000 and I only have to pay you $980 for it, I'm going to actually have a $20 gain. A loss will happen when I pay more for it than what it's worth on my book. So the same example, if it's worth $1,000 on my books, but I have to pay you $1,050, I'm going to have a $50 loss. I'm going to pay more than what it's worth. So let me show you a quick example of that. So here's what I have. June 30th, I issued a $100,000 bond. And that's the face amount and premium on bonds pill is 4,000. So right now, the carrying value of my bond is $104,000. So remember, carrying value is 104. So what happens is we're going to redeem one fourth of these or 25,000 for 24,000. So on my books, the carrying value is the 25,000 plus one fourth of the 4,000. So the actual value on my books is 26,000. I'm only going to give you 24,000. So I'm actually going to have a $2,000 gain. I'm giving you 24,000. On my books, the bonds are worth 26. And down here, the $1,000 is 25% of the premium on bonds payable. Okay? So this is a gain because I gave you less money than what it was worth on my books. Now, if I give you more money, so assume that I the other 75,000 outstanding bonds, I actually uh, give you more money. I So basically I have 75,000, that's the other three-fourths of the bonds, plus three-fourths of the premium a month table. So right now the carrying value would be these two added together, it would be $78,000 but I'm gonna give you 79,500. So I'm giving you more than what it's worth on my books. I'm taking a loss on it. So it's very important to know when you redeem the bonds, what is it worth on the books and what are you paying? When you pay more than what it's worth, it's a loss for the difference. When you pay less, that would be this other scenario right here. When I pay less, than what it's worth, it's a gain for the difference. Just remember this. And so I want to talk about how these are reported on my balance sheet. And I'm going to show you an example of that. Here's how they're reported on the balance sheet. So the bonds payable, less any, this is this is the discount pre, uh, this is the discount on bonds payable. So the carrying value on my books is really 484000 right now. Okay? So that's extremely important to know the carrying value. That's 
the face value minus the discount or the face value plus the premium is called the carrying value. This concludes Chapter 11, Bonds. We still need to talk about uh, the Appendix 1 on how to price the bonds using present value concepts. That's probably the most important part of this chapter.